mile off of my little road trip, monthly one I go down to the south coast. Uh, going down to Bournemouth today. Lovely day, forecast very good. Uh, sea should be calm, so hopefully we can get the wetsuit on with the Excalibur. Uh, high tides at 11 o'clock today. So one of the things is we'll be doing some dry sand first thing. Uh, head on to my usual car parking spot, work my way down to Bournemouth. And then from there, at lunchtime, working my way back, get the wetsuit on, and then see how we get on with the hunt for the bling bling. So, get down to the beach, catch up with you guys later, uh, let you see what's going on down there, and hopefully a bit of bling bling and a few coins. Catch up with you later. Cheers. Well guys, first time I've seen this one down here. It's the old Detectress enemy number one, raking up the sand, taking all the stuff off the top and fluffing it all up. I'm using e track this morning and the e track certainly doesn't like this sort of machine fluffing the sand up because you lose a lot of depth when it fluffs it up on the top. So I'll persevere with this, as you can see, uh, right in front of me here, you can see where he's actually flattened all the sand off, which we think was great for detecting. Actually, because he's fluffed it, the e track doesn't actually like that. So I'll catch up with you guys later, I'll let you know how we got on. High tide's at about 11 o'clock, so we've got bags of time. Catch up with you guys later. Cheers then. Bye. Hi guys, it's Mal. Got down onto the beach, um, just waiting for the little road train to take me down to Bournemouth. I'll just show you what the conditions are like today. Uh, lovely day. Sun's out, forecast sunny all day. Surf's up a little bit. Flat calm yesterday, according to the locals. But hopefully we can get in the sea later on. Over there we got Swanage, Corf Castle. We're there next week for the big rally. Swinging around, coming back in the distance there. We have Sands and Pool Harbour, and then going down to the bottom there. The, the, where I'm heading down to Bournemouth. Spend about a few hours down there just to see what's going on, see if there's any coins. Last time down there, there wasn't much, locals weren't getting much. I've uh, been using the ET today. And using on my usual beach program. Very successful for me over the years. See the discrim panel there, and just done this little cut here, but that machine's been in, and as usual, not a thing. He scooped up everything. Had a word with him. Um, apparently, the guy was saying that he's, he's had three mobile phones, two pair of sunglasses, and a silver chain this morning, just out his bucket. So it shows that beach scoop does rake up lots of the goodies. But he doesn't get any coins with this one, they seem to all fall through. But he told me he's raking down to six to seven inches in the, into the sand. So that makes a big difference to your finds. So hopefully he's missed a few things and I can pick them up later on. We'll catch up with you guys later. Signing off for now. Cheers. Hi guys, Small. Uh, a very quiet morning up and down the, the beach at Bournemouth so far. A few pounds in coins and that sort of things. I uh, just got a lovely. 12.06, 12.05 and what can we see in the scoop? A bit of bling bling. Oh, let's see what we've got in here. We've got, looks like a lovely gent's wedding ring and a bit of sparkly stuff on the inside on it as well. Looks like a diamond. Oh, that's one for the pot. I'll keep going. Lunchtime coming up. Oh, just dropped it in there again. So, we'll have a good look at that one later on and do my site report. Catch up with you guys later on. Cheers, then. Well, guys, it's just, just me. It's having fun today on the beach. The guys out there with these kites. And they're really going for it. Surf's really kicked up, so I won't be going out in the wetsuit until it comes down possibly later but and you see with these waves these guys are really bombing along 
They're uh, really enjoying themselves. Uh, it takes a bit of guts to go out there, but they'll get me going out there. I'll catch up with you later. Cheers then. Second bling bling of the day. Uh, sorry about the wind noise guys, but stuck in the surf at the moment. Uh, going well, get a few coins in there. First ring after about an hour. Catch up with you later. Hi guys, it's Mal. Back up from the beach again. I uh, had a nice day today down at Bournemouth. Let's see what we got in the goodies pouch. Well, Bournemouth has got a lot of people on it and they have a lot of rubbish to bring out. But there's one thing for sure. If you don't dig this stuff, you will not find any bling bling. As you can see, lots of rubbish in there. Ring pool tops, loads of them. Wine bottle tops. Even found this old camera, this camera strap, it's never been used. It was just floating along in the, in the surf. An old pen, and a little uh, truck for the little guy next door, looks like a little bulldozer, so he'll be happy with that. Uh, so, plenty of rubbish, but you need to dig all that with the E-Track or with the Excalibur, so you can find the bling bling. So let's see what we got in the goodies pouch. Today, good day for coins, e track did well today. Down at the Bournemouth end, lots of coins coming out. We had lots and lots to find. Plenty one bits of bling bling as well mixed in with that. Got a little Sikorsky uh, crystal teddy bear earring. Uh, that's in silver. Uh, a few more coins in here. Got a hair slide, that's not a bit of rubbish. So, not too bad. A few found pound coins in amongst that lot, so it pays for the the petrol getting down there. And here we come on to the, the real good stuff, the bling bling. A uh, lovely ring. Uh, 925 silver, quite heavy. I'll need to get that a little way. I think that'll go down well at the jewellers when weighing that one in. It's amazing how much money you can get for silver rings at this time. And then the lovely one, a gents 9 karat gold wedding ring, quite heavy, and a piece of ice. A little lovely diamond there, not really sparkling that much, the sun's gone in for a bit. But as you can see, make the journey well worthwhile, searching in the cuts and in the surf for the bling bling down at Bournemouth. So signing off guys, to so get these all cleaned up, do my little video as usual, and catch up with you later. Cheers then, bye.